Uh, well, this film is a blessing from the moment it started and it continues tonight. Um, well, I saw stuff in it tonight that I forgot about. It, 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 every time I see it, it, it lifts me more. Uh, this was a little town up in Canada called Kipling who basically funded the movie. Uh, everybody you saw up there is real. They've never acted before, except for one or two people. Uh, the woman who's the DA, and uh, but the mentally challenged fellow Lloyd Warner is incredible. The one who plays his mother, the guy who plays my father, is a farmer. Uh, uh, these are all real people, uh, people who actually invested in the movie. It, it was kind of a long road, but I ended up and fell in love in this town. And there was a bigger purpose. I think the purpose is still continuing, like I said tonight. I don't question it. I just I live in what this movie is. I'm just following the plan. You know, and I'm, I'm letting him guide me where I go with it. But it was just, there were so many wonderful things that happened up there during this film. Um, and I'll give you one that it just, I, I always like to do this one, then I'll open up to questions. But I, I truly believe, my dad, the reason this says for a father, I wrote this one after my father passed away. And I was a guy at 53 years old sitting saying, with a bag of ashes in my hand one day, I said, all right, buddy boy, what do you think? You know, where is he? Heaven, hell, is there God? Is there, is there evil? Is there all these things? I asked myself all these questions. I've always been a guy of faith. I was raised as a Christian scientist. We had God and faith in our lives, but like so many people, I didn't exercise it. That's the best way, exercise it. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't practice it. I didn't go to the gym with it. I didn't live it. You know, God bless you when somebody sneezes, or, you know, Merry Christmas. You know, I mean, that's about as far as I went. Uh, and I just thought it was time in my life to really explore the deeper purpose and uh, explore my faith. And it took me to this place where this wonderful town that I fell in love with funded this film. And um, all the way literally right to this one event that where I just knew, even after I'd written the film, I said, okay, I really, I'm, I believe what I wrote now. And you saw that farmhouse up there that burned down. We actually burned three farmhouses, but that one, I asked if there's a farmhouse you're bring down. They said we have 12 of them, which was pick your farmhouse. It was amazing. Because uh, I needed one in summer and one in winter. And, and um, uh, But we're there at the main farmhouse that you see burned down. Um, we're standing there one day, and the whole town comes out, and the, and the, the local minister takes us through a prayer as we start the movie, and we're about to burn this house down. And the whole town's coming. We don't have a lot of lights. They've all put their headlights around, you know, around the scene so we can see what was going on. It was a bitter, bitter cold night. And this somebody brings up this young boy and says, uh, oh, you know, he'd like to meet you. And I say, hey, great. Have you ever seen it happen before, a fire like this? He said, no, no, I can't wait. This is incredible. Well, I found out earlier, this farmhouse is a farmhouse that, in real life, uh, a, a very infamous pedophile up in Canada who had been taking young children across the country, boys across the country, and doing terrible things. He was caught in this farmhouse. This is the farmhouse he was caught in. I only found it after I picked it. And this boy who came up was the last child who was found in the farmhouse. And that's when I said, wow. Okay, we're you know there's a much bigger purpose to this whole thing, and yeah, I just said I'm gonna put out the sails and take me, uh, and that's really where the journey of this film has been for me. It's been a, it's just a, it's just I I can't spread the sails far enough and just you know and give in to it, um, and and I'm I'm, I, I'm I'm very early in my journey, you know, I'm very early in my journey, and I'm just loving where it's taking me and uh, enjoying it and. I've written another film that I wrote for Lloyd, the guy who's the mentally challenged guy. We were shooting in March called Barlow Man, and I wrote a whole movie about him because he's so, he's just a, a unique human being. But uh, yeah, it's pretty incredible. I mean, it's, it's, it keeps me, and another town called me up and said, hey, we like what you did in Kipling. Could we fund a movie? And I said, okay. And so they put up $500,000, and we're going to go shoot a movie in March.